Come in. Hey. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, man? Are you you looking to buy a plane or anything? Well, I'm just, you know, looking to buy or lease a plane, whichever one works. Don't really know how it works, but I kind of really need a plane. Hey, so what's your name? Well, uh, we'll go with Cameron. What's yours? All right, well, my name's Zach. I've been working here for about 10 years now, so whatever plane you need, I can get you. Actually, how about we go back over to my office? This is really the conference room, so we're not really supposed to be in here right now. How about let's go over there? So what kind of plane do you got? Well, I'll let you look at, uh, we got a few options I'll let you look at, actually. This is a blank piece of paper. Yeah, I'm sorry, here, I'll... Right here, I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, well, do you have anything big, like a uh, twin engine or some, something that you could, uh, you know, take me from here to Mexico? Well, uh, yeah, we actually got a few good options. It just depends on your budget. Okay, well, um, should I buy a plane or lease it? Well, um, that depends. You want to fly more or less than 200 hours a year. Let's just go with uh, less than 200 hours a year. Okay, so you could do uh, fractional or joint ownership if that's what you want to do. Or if you don't want to share the plane, you can just get a lease. Oh, well, um, what's a lease? So, a lease is when I, the leaseor, lends you the plane and you as the leasee will use the plane until the end of the contract. Okay, well, um... I'll go with the lease for now, because okay. I don't want to share anything with anyone else. Well, uh, so what do you have in mind? So I'll just do, like, I don't know, like 18 so, months, $5,000 a month. Does yeah. that sound good? Yeah. So actually, we have a 1979 Beechcraft King Air 200, and we could probably do that for about $3,600 a month. I, that's, that's a good price. Can, you, uh, can we, um, we possibly do that now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, just give me a few moments, and we can uh, start working it out. Okay. And uh, just to make sure that you want a regular lease, you don't want a lease back, correct? What's the difference? So, a lease back is actually when you purchase the plane and then you lease it back to me. Oh, uh, well, uh, I, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. I'll just stick with the regular lease. So you don't want to, you don't want to share a plane with me with all the. Uh, uh, trips I'll be doing that. Alright, alright. Well, uh, let's get started on the uh, paperwork, but if you don't mind me asking, why exactly do you want to go to Mexico? You got family or something on there? Oh, yeah, well, you know, it's the, uh, you know, your usual story to Mexico. You know, you uh, go there to uh, smuggle cocaine in the U.S. to pay off your debt to the Sonoma cartel so that we don't kill your uh, family and friends. <laughs> um, yeah, but actually, why do you want to go there? You uh, doing something on there? Uh, exploring. Exploring? Yeah, okay. so exploring the culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds nice. So, um, I just want to let you know that Mexico has their own specialty insurance policy that you can't get in the United States, so you'll have to get that extra. Okay, well, um, well, speaking of the insurance, uh, do I need a special insurance, or do I need insurance for the uh, leasing of the plane? Well, there are, uh, many types of insurance for aviation that okay, you well, need to get. Oh, uh, well, uh, well, I need, like, a... In aviation insur insurance agent or something? Um, no, we can we can actually look at it here. Oh, that's great. Um, that's good. But is there uh, any kind of special insurance that I might need, or like if I take uh, so if I to if I take totally legal drugs? By the way, totally legal drugs across the U.S. <laughs> no, of course not. But uh, let me ask you first: What are your pilot qualifications? Um. I am a multi-engine instrument rated non-commercial pilot. So you're not commercial, but you're instrument. Okay. So for insurance, I recommend pleasure and business insurance for the purpose of use. Unless you plan on getting your commercial, then if you want to fly cargo or passengers, then you would get commercial except for instruction or rental. But for now, just get pleasure and business. Okay. Well, um... We'll see. What about a uh, FAR violations clause? Should I not get that, or why, why should um, I get that? 
No, I don't get a FAR violation clause because actually, if you don't, if you get one, if you get an insurance policy that does have the FAR violation ex exclusion clause in it, you won't get any money from the insurance company if you commit a FAR violation. Well, what should I do if I accidentally uh, break a FAR violation? I would, uh, I'm, not, I'm not an expert on this, but I would file a uh, NASA report. It helps you get immunity from FAR violations. Okay, well, um, why don't we take a look at the uh, aviation insurance checklist then? All right. Okay. Well, um, speaking about the uh, NASA report that I have to do, so like, let's say I might have to file that or whatever. We're not even gonna talk about that. Uh, what should I do? Uh, if I fly across the border, do you know who do I have to go through? Yeah, so you have to go through the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Okay, well, um, well, so hypothetically, if I get caught, uh, you know, not like I want to get caught or do anything illegal, but if I do something, um, could I potentially keep my license if, and, uh, you know, not go to jail if I get caught doing drugs or smuggling well, uh, or you could you could get a revocation and if you're innocent you get your license back but if if you get caught with drugs you're screwed <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh that's uh huh. oh that's concerns it's great it's good to know well uh do you need any kind of endorsement or something a what? Like a line holder's interest endorsement. What is that? Essentially, it uh, protects the loaner of the money that you're borrowing from, and uh, you keep the endorsement until it's paid in full. No, 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 no. Won't be, uh, won't be needing that. It should be fine. Uh, I should have the money. Okay, well, uh, anyways, that's my uh, recommendations for the insurance and other things, but let's get this lease worked out, and I can get you in the airplane today if you want. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Thank God. Uh, otherwise, I might get my head taken off. It takes too long. <laughs> All right, so under my agreement, you'll have exclusive use of the aircraft for the entire leasing terms. I will cover any maintenance costs and inspection costs, and you will handle, handle the insurance. Okay, well, um, what, what about this uh, crew expenses here? So, actually, you're good on that since you have your pilot's license. I assume you can fly the aircraft? Uh, yeah, should be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ho hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I'm a fast learner. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, you, you should be good. So, the uh, manufacturer model is a Beechcraft King Air 200. Aircraft registration is November 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Monthly payment is going to be $3,600 a month, and it's due on the 15th of every month. Oh, well, it's, uh, aircraft registration number, the ta that tail number won't be necessary. No, but uh, FAA regulations require you to have a tail number. Oh, well, um, I, <laughs> well, I don't want the FAA to know who's smuggling the drugs in. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a joke. It's yeah, totally a yeah. joke. <laughs> so, uh, you want this lease for 18 months, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Let me just run our criminal background check and a credit report, and you should be good. Okay, everything checks out. Really? Yeah. You're, I got you the keys right here? Wow. <laughs> I was expecting this to be so easy. <laughs> Wait, actually, hey! You're not actually going to use these for drugs, are you? No. Okay, well, have fun then. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> Later that same evening. Hey, uh, did you hear about that guy that got caught smuggling cocaine across the border? No, I haven't heard of him. Shit, man. So, like, he just got caught the other day, and, like, he just bought the aircraft. That's crazy, isn't it? That is crazy. Hey, good thing it wasn't us, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, good thing it wasn't us.